Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams presenting to you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams will meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College at the Life Cathedral, Zoe Chapel. It's easy to see. Anybody you ask will bring you straight up there. Covering the topic, too high or too low. This is part two. <clears throat> too high or too low. And my text is taken from uh, 2 Kings chapter 5, from verse 1 to 17. The story of Naaman the leper who was asked to go and bathe in the Jordan River, and he was upset, he was wroth, and he was said, my goodness me, there are better rivers. And last week we, we captured the fact that he referred, his reference point was the Abana River. And then we gave a definition of the Abana River. That means stony, that means irresolute, obstinate, pig-headed, intransigent. You are kicked up in yesterday so much that you are kicked up in what you know, that you are impervious to new truth that is coming and for what God wants to do in your life. And as a result of that, you can miss a blessing. You will stay a leper. You will stay a, a deformed person. You will stay economically deformed. You will stay financially deformed. You will stay morally deformed. You will stay all in that, with that deformity if you are not flexible enough to receive the new. And sometimes we need to melt those stone cold decisions that needs to be melted. Not all decisions should be melted, but some of them needs to be melted in order for God to do something new with us. I'll move on to the next stage, and this is part two. He referred to the Abana River, and he said there are better rivers, the Abana and the Fapa. And uh, I told you the Abana, the meaning of the Abana. And now here's the Fapa. The meaning of Fapa is Russian. Russian. So guess what? You know what Naaman was saying? I want it quick. Shapalanga. <laughs> you know, we're living in an age where if you press a button, light comes on. If you if if you press a knob, your food is cooked in the microwave. If you if you ring a bell, a, 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 a maid servant comes to you. You know, if you press a switch, a remote, and then uh, your TV comes on. And some of us, uh, if we if we press a, a, a button, then our wife comes and says, "Okay, honey, I'm ready for bed." You know. So we are used to the sharp and the quick. And as a result of that, sometimes we are impatient with what God wants to do in our lives. And we are proud in our impatience. The FAPA means rushing. And we want everything to be rush, rush, rush. Not everything is a rush. Not everything needs to be rushed through. Sometimes there's a need for us to be patient. For things, for processes to work. For processes to work. God never created everything in a day. It took his time for processes to work. You don't take seed. A woman, you don't take seed and the next day you have a child. No. It's a process. And sometimes in our impatience, we rush things. In our impatience, we rush to marry. In our impatience, we rush to start something. In our impatience, we rush to do things. In our impatience, we rush to form relationships. In our impatience, we rush to make decisions. That was where Naaman was. I want it, but I want it quick. But God doesn't do it. So Naaman had to go through a laborious process of going through, dipping himself in a Jordan River that he was looking down upon seven times. Are you aware that there are many of us who would say that, oh, this thing is taking too long. And poor scorn and mockery are delay. And poor scorn and mockery are things that take time. Uh, it is it's as a result of our impatience, not because God is wrong, but because we, 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 we are impatient. And so we pour scorn on it. So he was looking down, standing on a lofty position, too high, that he was looking down on the River Jordan. The impatience, first of all, stony, and then second, impatience. And you know what the Jordan River means? Descending. Get off your high horse. Descend. Because sometimes, in going low, you would attain heights. Sometimes you need to come down off your high perch. Sometimes you need to get off your high horse. Sometimes a little show of humility will bring you things that you've never experienced before. 
For many years in Naaman's life, he had never experienced clean health with clean skin. But the day he descended into the Jordan River, that was the day of his breakthrough. That was the day of his miracles. So you know what? Don't be too high. It is better to be too low. It is better to be low. Because sometimes he that is down needs to low fall. Sometimes it's better to be low than to vaunt yourself as I and be paid to come low. So Naaman was forced, not forced, he had to learn common sense. That is intransigence, that is his resolute, his resolution, and that is his, 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 uh, his stubborn, pig headed posture was not going to work. And that his, his demand for the fast is also not going to work. But come low into the Jordan. Sometimes you need to get down from your high horse. Remove yourself from that lofty pitch for God to do something new with you. See you later.